Hi guys, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. Today we are in my garage because my ironing board that we made, as you can see, like four years ago, needs new batting. So I am going to take you guys through the process of popping out all the staples on my ironing board, which is 64 by 24. That's how big my ironing board is. We're going to take you through the process of popping all of the staples out recovering it with a wool blanket. So I have an old wool blanket, I'm gonna double it up. That way I have a nice pressing surface made with wool now instead of cotton. So join me while we do this. And we are going to be using a staple gun with, my wood is only quarter inch thick, so we're only using quarter inch staples. We're gonna be using some flathead screwdrivers to pop the staples out. And if need be, if the staples don't come out, we will be using some grips. Pliers and pliers channel locks. And channel locks to pull the staples out if they don't come out. Or in redneck terms, a monkey wrench. <laughs> so anyways, join me while we start this and you guys can just watch the whole process. I'm just gonna work. Gonna all right guys, so this is us popping out all the staples. And you guys could just watch us do this. And it's actually really cold today and windy. and windy. And I'm trying to salvage the um, sheet that I used to create the top because in four years it hasn't shredded or came apart. It's a really good sheet so I don't want it to rip or get ruined. So this is going to be ripping it apart. I'll tell you guys a little bit about this while I'm recording. This um, ironing board is a regular ironing board. It still goes up and down. If you want to build one of these, you need to build it with the ironing board that has the metal, what is this called? Grating. Grating. So that way you can do the hole punch from the top and bolt it down with set in bolts. So it's bolted away from the mechanism that makes this go up and down. So it still goes up and down and it is distributed the weight equally on both sides so that it doesn't fall. So it, it's very good the way we put it together. Just trying not to rip my fabric at all because that won't be a good thing. And I'm also making sure that we don't hurt ourselves with the staples by making a little pile, not just throwing them. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> That's okay. It was the edge. I could staple around that. We'll make it work. We have plenty more. But yeah, over time, the batting that's in here just went flat so everything is not pressing like it should. Requires lots of, uh, if you have a table to stick this on, it would probably be easier, but I do not. So we're just doing it from the ground, which is probably better when we go to lay it out and put the new one on. The new sheet, I mean, or blanket. Easier for you. I'm finding that's the issue. The smaller I've had is it only pops up one side of the staple. No, is it not? Sorry. I was actually going better with the smaller head. Sorry.
guys could stare at Scotty's bum for a few minutes. I was going to pop these up so you could pull them here. Figured we was working together. I didn't know I was doing this whole side. <laughs> I have a one that's not coming up right here. I'll take care of it. Flip them out like I've been doing. Make sure you know where they go. <laughs> Don't lose one. Try this. Don't hurt yourself. I was sticking with little, little tools because okay. I'm a little girl. Okay. Okay. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I have lots of staple mess, but it's just in all one pile. Where's your one you couldn't get? Right here. Hmm? Okay, right. here, you get that here. corner. Just one more. I'll get him. Oh, you get him. All right. Here, one more. Oops. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's one more down there. There's probably one in all these. Oh, yep, look at that. Mitered corners. Looks pretty, don't it? Which helps it stay down better. There's a needle in it. Hold on, let me pull the needle. I don't want that to be stuck in anyone. <laughs> so this is what the back side of the board looks like. So much starch <laughs> on this thing. It's so crunchy. So here's my discarded cotton. Look at that. You guys can see it's... Why don't you just use that as the bottom again? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going to end up getting yucked, too, if you just kept that as the bottom. No, it's fine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to lay this back down. Upside down. And what we're going to do, when it's nice and flat, is we're going to measure out the... Let's move these pin staples before they get stuck. I do that. You do the blanket. Upside down. All right, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take this wool blanket and I am going to cut it, actually I could just loop, fold it in half, like that. We're going to line this up on the mat. How are we lining? On this. This this edge to it? Yes. Okay. 
everything else I'll cut off. Pull it nice and tight with it. Like, see, I got it with my fingers. Oh, I see what you're doing. Like that? Yep. And get all the wrinkles out. You move the board farther away. Yeah, I'm just getting splinters on it now. If you have a, a husband or a boyfriend or a friend of friend, you know, it would be best to get their help to do this. Can we cut off enough to make a third layer? Mm, probably not. There's two here, two. I mean, we could. We could just fold it in threes. Let's try that. Wanna do that? Put one edge on here. Straighten this back out again. Put one edge on. <laughs> right up to the edge. I'm grabbing both sides like this. I can't grab underneath here. <laughs> this side's longer. Okay. Okay. We're going to try to fold it in three so that it's super plush <laughs> for pressing. You got to flatten that side out. I'm sorry. Now, line it in, we'll line it up right there, perfect. It's almost like basting a quilt. We are making a three layer sandwich. The thicker the better. Okay, and last time. Oh, that would be perfect because this will be at the edge. And actually come out just a little bit more. Just like that. Perfect. So that'll be folded over. The iron is 26 inches even. You mean iron board? The iron board, sorry. Oh, so I was wrong? It's so, yeah, you've got plenty to go over. This is 31 even at the bottom. Okay, well, I need to cut So this. that'll be at least 2 inches to go over. I need to cut this edge off right here. Yeah, I've got that edge too. That's the scissors you want to use, right? Yep. Okay. These are my batting scissors. Okay, I'm going to pull all the tools. I'm just cutting the blanket's edge off. I'm going through lots of layers, so it's gonna take a minute to cut. And wool blankets are kind of thick. That is what we want, nice thick blanket. All right, there's that, it's garbage. Alright, this side's nice and flat still. Now I'm going to go over to this side. Is there anything I can help with at the moment? Nope. And I'm going to cut. And I'm just, to see the edge of my ironing, I'm going to just roll this out of the way as I cut. So I could actually save this piece right here to use for small little wall hanging projects. It's wool, but either way, it's batting, so it can be used for small projects. <laughs> now, we need to make sure it's flat one more time, and then we're going to lay the ironing board center on top of it. 
Yeah, which means I'm going to take one end and you're going to take the other. Just hold on, I don't have the other end. Okay. Now we're going to center it. Right here? Are you I got like four that inches? much over my edge. Let's see what the last line was. It's already stuck to the. Just leave it. It's fine. Oh, right. We can pick it straight up. Yeah, it was sticking to this though already. Oh, shit. Well, then it's good. All right. Let's just start hammering it down. Or stapling it down. Actually, we do need to come this way, so, because look, my corner right here, there's no corner at all. You're blocking the camera. I'm sorry. Well, here, I'll stand on the edges. Just lifting it just ever so slightly, right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. Okay. All right. A little hammer in case we need it. We need a hammer. I'm going to start by folding in the corner like this. We also need to make sure this is nice and tight underneath. Pull the whole thing. So I'm folding it at a 45 degree angle. This is really thick for these staples. You know it? Yep. Just hammer them down a little. There we go. We don't want to hammer them too much because we don't want it to tear through the fabric. Maybe we could have used those thicker ones. Probably. So I'm going to put this one at a 45 degree angle. And then before I start doing the whole entire thing, what I'm going to do is we're going to flip this over and smooth it out before doing anything else. So we're going to flip it over. Which way? Make sure that it's nice and smooth. Do you want to stand it up? I'm going to start folding it over and putting staples. Yeah, we need the thicker staples for up in here. Just put a staple right here first. Okay. Where they were before. <laughs> it's a lot thicker now. One in between. Use as many as you want. You're going to have to go by it back and hammer them down then, though. So I'm pulling nice and tight and stapling. Then I'm going to come over here to this side and do this side. And we're going to have to change out to thicker staples. We have three size staples. We're using the medium ones at the moment. We're going to have to go to the thicker ones for the edges. Do you want me to do that? You want a hammer? Or do you, do you like what you're doing? I like what I'm doing. Okay. Do you want me to pull it tight for you? Nope. 
So I'm making sure I'm pulling nice and tight. I don't want to go too close to the edge. Maybe we should pull them down a little. What do you think? Yeah, right there. Another one in here. That one's barely in. There we go. All right. Now to fold these sides. Can you pull on that at that edge on this? Put it on somewhere. Landed on me. Oh, you found it? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so everything's nice and tight. I'm going to fold this over now and do this section. But not the corners yet because they're so thick now that I kind of can't do anything with them. We'll put the thicker staples in and do our best. So I'm tucking it in to make my 45 degree corner like that and like that. I can get one staple right here. Why don't you just do the other end? Do the other end. We use the big staples there. I didn't get three different size staples for nothing. Hey, that one's not even. You're just in the bag, honey. That's not in the wood. Okay, right I'm making sure that it's folded at this end. Okay, now to do my corners with a different size staple. Yeah, we're using a 3 8 staple now for those of you that are trying to keep track. And let's see what the staple is here. Is it a 9 sixteenths? Yep, it's a 9 sixteenths. So we used 3 eighths earlier, now we're using 9 sixteenths. So now I'm just going to come over here to my corners. Just so that they're stapled down. Oh, that seemed to work. Oh, not that one. Well, do your best. I don't know what to say. There we go. That one did. Just kidding. These corners now. I gotta make sure that it's folded in all the way. At least this time now I have hip protection every time I hit the corner. <laughs> yeah, the corners will be very fluffy. Nice and fluffy. Why don't you let me use the gun? Don't hurt yourself. Got that edge? Yep. Alright. Here. We can pick it up and show it to him. Hey, let me do that. Why don't you hurt yourself? I had to be covered anyway. Voila! So 
So hold on. Let's you want me to stand it up? So just like any ironing board, it's a little on the heavier side, but now look at that. Ooh, look at that thickness. That was like when I first did it. <laughs> it is very nice and flat too. Okay, so now it's like when I first did it, it's all thick again. You guys can see how much thicker it is. Look at that. So now with the wool underneath this, it should, so you can see underneath, it should be a lot better. Oops. That's, no, I'll cut that with scissors. But you guys can see under here, see those bolts? That bolt, that bolt, that bolt, that bolt, and this one, and this one, and they all have a washer to keep them in, and then they're set in into the wood underneath here. So wherever they are, the, it's drilled into the wood. But look at that, an ironing board that should last me another uh, more than four years with this one with the wool. So there we have it. Thank you guys for watching me recover my ironing board. Until next time, bye everybody.